<coughs> so here I'm at Manali. This is a pool and this is the spectacular view that is by Bangalore Hotel. And it has got a spectacular view and I have taken the bungalow just next to poolside. So the topic is that uh, <coughs> so life is you know all about having friends associate with good people you know get together and do something which you call constructive you know. Now I'm almost 52 years old and I want to do something great in my life because I'm getting the opportunities. My videos are getting viral and there are so many people, you know, who want to have podcast with me. I'm getting the calls every now and then and I'm going to do the podcast with very selective people. So, yep, all the good things are happening in my life, but Oh, I forgot that I ordered the tea, you know, I'm very forgetful, you know, rather than sipping up the tea, I'm just gulping this beer around. Okay, wait. I just forgot that I ordered for the tea. I started my Instagram, I think, before almost seven, eight years. And Meanwhile, lots of things happen in my life and <sighs> sorry, I'm coughing so badly, you know, I don't know why, because, you know, I came from Leha Ladakh today. So, you know, having the drastic changes in climate, you know, that made me to cough. in life you know i mean you come across to people like you know some people are good some people are bad but you know you have to continue with each one you know you should learn to forgive people you know because what happens that you do have that bad energy in your mind and when you think so much about it then what happens you know the devil mind dominates you very badly so, rather than thinking about people who have done bad to you know it's better to forgive them and forget everything you know because if you don't forgive and don't forget, you know, what will happen, you know, those memories keep on, keep on battering you, you know, and it will land you to going depression. So it's very important that, you know, in your life that whatever things are happening, you should ignore, you know, and you should grasp all the good things from people, you know, it's like, you should absorb, you know, the good things around you. So that will help you out to grow your future and, you know, to make your career. But... I'm a little emotional person, you know, I mean, you see my videos where I'm speaking all this blah, 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 but reality, I think I'm a very emotional person, you know, so all these things, you know, fiddle in my mind and then I keep on thinking about it so much. You know, I love candles very much. I just love candles very much. Because I don't like those flashy lights and all that, you know. I'm just at the garden side. So I like to put the candle. I like to look at the candle. You know, it changes the shape every now and then with the flow of air. I'm a simple person, you know, who is connected to small things. I don't like very loud music, okay, if I'm in discos and pubs and all that, I go for the loud music. But when I'm aloof, you know, I just look at the candle and I feel so great, you know, that I feel that someone is burning for me, someone is live for me.
So I want to say thank you very much to each one, you know, because appreciating my videos and even if you're passing bad, bad comments at, but at least, you know, you're giving the good viewership to me. And I just want to say thank you very much for that. Because, you know, I'm very much new to India. I had no clue that how the Indians are. But when I came to India, I found people are very nice in India, you know. I mean, I had very misconception, the big misconception that I do have only fan following, you know, in Europe and in the Russia because I do have a lot of Russian girlfriends. But after coming to India, I realized, no, Deepak, you are having the good fellow fan following in India too, you know, because India is a nice place and people are very cooperative here, you know, that I have no clue that how just I went away to Kashmir and I became very famous out there making my videos and all everything. And uh, I was just shocked one fine day, you know, when I was gallivanting in Kashmir, so people came and they started to take selfies and all everything. Trust me, I had no clue that why each one is taking my selfie. And then they said, and they said like, you know, that you have to say more, more. Oh, then I thought, you know, that's really in my mind that I made the video on Instagram and that's got viral. So that was my first video in my life, which got viral. And then I was appreciated by, you know, the a uh, bunch of people out there and people used to gather, they used to have selfies with me and all that. So somehow like, you know, my, uh, those videos like, you know, they were uploaded on the memes pages in Pakistan. So gradually, you know, like people in Pakistan, they liked my uh, concept and the content very much, you know, so they started to follow me, they started to see my videos and all everything. And then, uh, I grabbed the attention of Kari Minati, you know, the, one of the biggest roasters of India. And then he roasted me at that time and he signed the contract with me that he can roast me for five, six times and some, not lifelong, not five, six times, lifelong. And then I signed the agreement with me and then he made so many videos and somehow then, you know, people started to, you know, know me in India. And thank you very much, I must say, Kari Minati, that you made me viral, you know, because. I had no clue that one fine day I will get, I will become viral personality and viral sensation in India, you know. Of course, I was very famous in Pakistan, you know, I know that. But, you know, my content was as such, you know, because I used to make videos with Kashmiri outfit and, you know, so many Urdu words and all, everything, you know, uh, on my Instagram. And I had 100% fan following from, um, you can say, uh, 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 Kashmir, you know, which have got the similar culture to Pakistan and the uh, Food is ready. Uh, yeah, you just get that and um, what I had to say. Okay, get one candle, you know, because I like candle very much. So get one candle and that's it. And pack the food, you know, so yeah. now I'm not hungry. No, I want to sit here. Yeah. Yeah, here. So I'm not hungry, but you, you know, wrap with the foil and all everything. So when I will feel, I can have it. Okay. Thank you very much. So, you know, I have all the very simple food because I don't like something with spice and all that, you know. I mean, I know when people order something, you know, they always say that put spices and all that. But I'm not a kind of a guy, you know, who prefer to have spice. I want to believe in that you put a lot of ingredients, you know, in the masalas and all that, spices and herbs in the dish. Then what happens, you know, that it kills the proper, uh, it, it kills the, like, you know, the main uh, taste of the food. I mean, of course, it enhances. I'm not saying no. So even, you know, someone wants to put any of the spices, you know, he can put one. See, but in India, I have seen that people put all the assorted spices and herbs, you know, and they club so many things that, you know, you just get baffled, you know, like, why oh, having this and why is testing like this? So I don't have any clue about it, you know, in abroad, what people do, that most of the time they don't like club so many things, you know. And even if they club it, you know, what they do, like, they put it separate. So, you know, you can take the little portion according to your choice. Or else, even if they're assorted, you know, so what you can do that you can just have one bite and the second bite and third bite. So you can have the multiple bites, you know, of each the stuff. So I just like that concept, you know. But in India, they put all the stuff together and they cook it and all that. They boil it all together. So... That's something I really don't appreciate, you know. 
and Indians they are very unhealthy food. Let me just tell you that you know because when you talk about the oil and all that, see, oil has got the nutrients. You know, oil has got its own uh, value. You know, of nutrients. But when you boil that oil, you know, and it goes up to the smoking point, it loses all the fucking in, uh, all the fucking nutrients in that which are present. So when we talk about oil and oil, just don't know about it. I'm not saying just say no oil. No, you can put it, you know. But you can just do as a topping and all, and you can just um, you know put some oil as a dressing. So you can have oil as a dressing you know not you know with joke and they never eat such kind of things you know it's very bad for her very very bad for her trust me i'm telling you so instagram is something you know which is so connected to my heart and you know, when I had no friends and something like that, you know, so. <clears throat> it's a pop. It's like everything, you know. And the millions of followers, you know, they are my family. I don't say anybody to fans, you know, they are my family. <laughs> See, fame is something, you know, which is there today, and tomorrow it wouldn't be with you, you know. But um, when you have the people around you, you know, who are so caring to you, and you think about it, so they are there to exist forever for you. They are there to exist, you know. Okay, so now I'm just winding up with Instagram Live, and I have just associated with Tango as such, you know. So if you do want to join me, you guys just join Tango. And um, yep, yeah, see you at Tango just now because I'm just going to start my Tango line now. Thank you very much. Being the part of my Instagram live. Love you. Enjoy, bye bye.